Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Thrift Store and Garage Sale Finds. Now in today's episode, as usual, I've got a couple of neat things that I found at some garage sales and thrift stores recently. And we're just going to get started with this VHSC camcorder. Yes, I purchased one of these. Why did I do so in 2022? Well, because over the past couple years or so, I have been occasionally doing the VHS look in some of my videos when it really makes sense. I think it really adds a nice feel to these videos and fits in with the vibe of this channel. And up until this point, I've been doing that by using my main camera here and just recording footage as usual, but then bringing that into my editing software and adding a bunch of effects to it to give it that VHS look. And that's worked pretty well, but there's really nothing like using an actual VHS camcorder, or in this case, a VHS-C camcorder that I can use to capture video to a VHS-C tape and then import that to my editing software and just edit with it and, and you know it'll already have that VHS look with all the VHS artifacts and I think it'll be really nice when it makes sense to do that in my video projects. So yeah, I went ahead and acquired this. I found it at a garage sale for around $25 which is a pretty decent price especially when you consider it comes with this case and a bunch of accessories including the AC adapter which is extremely important because I'm pretty sure the three batteries in here are all stone dead and don't even hold the charge anymore but yeah there are three batteries in here which is kind of nuts and yeah let's just open this up and I'll give you guys a brief tour of it and uh, we will you know capture some test footage with it in this video as well oh yeah here we go check out this chonker right here so this is the Panasonic Palm Quarter IQ. The model number is the PV-IQ403. It's got a color viewfinder, not just a color viewfinder, but a rotating color viewfinder, which this is just really cool. Um, I got started using Hi8 tapes on a Hi8 camcorder. So with this being a, a tape format, it, it kind of reminds me of using that old Hi8 camcorder. And yeah, this will definitely be neat to just try out and, and capture some footage with. We'll be doing that, you know, a little bit later on here. Uh, but first, let's take a little look around the camcorder a little bit more. There is a, this remote here, which I find really cool. It's stored right inside of the camcorder. So there you go. You can change the uh, zoom here. You can start and stop recording. You can play back, you know, footage. Uh, you got your remote power switch there as well. And I just like how it, it's stored in there. I mean, it's really nice. Just pop in and there it is. So you don't lose it. I'm sure people lost this anyways. Um, unfortunately, you need to have power to eject the uh, tape door here. So we will certainly plug this thing in in a moment. But uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and just set that aside and take a look at what else is in the box here or the bag rather because this is actually a pretty complete setup we also have the instruction manuals and the quick user guide which is neat we'll go ahead and flip through this a little bit why not so we'll uh, take it out here so here's your quick use guide and uh, it says refer to the operating instruction book for details d-e-t-a-i-l-e-s there should not be an e there it should just be <laughs> wow there's a typo on this uh on this booklet that's kind of funny and is this the registration card in here oh it's like a sticker for you to put on the tape and i guess if you wanted to mail it to somebody you got like a return address and uh yeah actually this wouldn't fit on the little tape you know like the vhs tape label thing on the front this is like to actually put on uh front of a package when you're mailing a, these tapes or something that's actually kind of cool so you got some vhs tapes holiday greetings summer vacation a special video message just for you and yeah i might have to use this or something in a in a video i don't know i've also got some other stuff falling out here the eight function remote control you've got your attention the product you've purchased is powered by a rechargeable battery the battery is recyclable it tells you to uh, recycle it at the end of its useful life which evidently these people did not do although maybe the battery still hold the charge i highly doubt that but hey it's worth a try right so yeah preparation this is your little that that quick use guide so it's going to tell you how to 
set stuff up, how to read the viewfinder display, how to put the VHSC tape into the, I guess this was included, the play pack, which is just a VHSC to a VHS adapter, which I do have. Uh, we'll touch on that in a moment. And here is the operating instructions where you can get those details about uh, how to use the, the camcorder here. It tells you what is included. So let's see, was that? Yes, it was. A VHS play pack was included. Oh my gosh, they've got... That's... <laughs> I always love when you can find this stuff. So this was purchased on August 7th or maybe July 8th, 1993. I assume it's month, day, year purchased from Sears and they wrote the serial number in there. So wow, that's that's really neat. It gives this camera a little bit of personality because you can tell when and where it was purchased. And yeah, here's everything that was included. So we have the adapter, we have one of the battery packs. We don't have the color enhancement light, at least I don't think, I haven't gone through this uh, package entirely, so maybe that is in here. The audio video cable, I don't think we have. We don't have the VHS play pack. I do have one, but it's not the one that was included with this. We have the remote. We don't have the two batteries unless both of them are in the remote. I assume it only takes one. And the shoulder strap, we do have already on the uh, camcorder. So yeah, we are definitely missing a couple of things. Uh, gosh, I just, I just can't get over that. that I just, I, I love this. I love when, uh, when people actually write information in those things. So yeah, it's your table of contents, uh, all the accessories here. So here's uh, some of the stuff that was optional. They had a carrying case. They had the uh, video corrector and yeah, how to attach the solder strap. We're not going to go through this thing entirely. So yeah, that's your operating instructions booklet. And then what do we have here? Is this like an order form? Yeah, accessory selection guide. So let's see how much. Wow, the AC adapter cost $130. Oh, I see. So yeah, we just go by the model number here. So this is the PVIQ 403. So we would need to get the... AC adapter that costs $130. Luckily, we didn't need the $190 one. And yeah, so you got battery packs, car cord, VHS. So the cassette adapter costs $35. Bucks. S video cable, tuner adapter, carrying cases. Yeah, they definitely had a decent amount of accessories here. So here's the order form. They only charged $5 for shipping and handling. I guess you'd have to calculate your tax yourself. So yeah, those are all of the uh, paper pieces of documentation in here. Always love going through that stuff, as I said. And let's see what else we've got. So here is one of the batteries, a roll of 35 millimeter film. I assume this person was maybe into photography as well and just, you know, threw this in here. So that's that. Uh, up here, we've got this nice little zipper pouch. And this, I believe, is part of the power cable. One end plugs into the camcorder, one end plugs into the uh, other half of the AC adapter, which is this right here. Uh, so this is actually the battery charger, but it also doubles as, you know, if you wanted to just power this directly from AC power and you would use, as I said, this cable here and, you know, there you go. Right here is one of the other batteries and I don't think there's anything else in there. And then on this side here is, you're not gonna believe it, yet another battery. So yeah, I think it's fair to say that this thing most certainly got its fair share of use. I went ahead and plugged it into the AC adapter here so we can take a look at it actually powered on here. And we'll go ahead and just eject the uh, tape door here. Unfortunately, there is not a tape in here. There was one at the garage sale that I found this at, but unfortunately, Somebody grabbed it before I could. I was so frustrated because it was brand new, still sealed in the shrink wrap. Brand new VHSC tape and someone else got it. But little did I know, I went to a separate garage sale and found not only a VHSC tape, but a VHSC to VHS adapter, which I was also going to have to buy. And I got this for $1. It's like one of the only times I went to a garage sale and I found exactly what I was looking for. I could just capture directly to my composite capture device, which is the VCR I've got hooked up to a capture card. I could just capture directly from the camera and not even use the tape at all. But while that footage would look old and dated, it won't have the VHS grain and all those nice 
effects and that aesthetic that I'm looking for. So that's why I want to try capturing it the tape. I will try just capturing it directly and see how it looks. So we will most certainly take a look at what's on this and depending on what it is, I may or may not show it to you. Like if it's some family video or something, I'm not going to put that out here on the internet for everybody to see. So we'll come back to that and we'll move on to our next item, which is actually uh, from the 1980s. This right here is a Coleco Quiz Whiz, the computer question and answer game. It cost four bucks at Goodwill. Yeah, this is a neat little thing that I was kind of surprised to see at Goodwill, though I guess, I mean, I'm always surprised to see stuff at Goodwill. I mean, you never know what you're going to find there. Basically, the way it works, this is a question and answer game. So you've got this booklet here that contains all of the questions. So we'll just open it up here to like a random page. So there you go. You got some questions uh, relating to television shows. And so you would enter the question number on the device itself here, and then you would answer. It's all multiple choice. And then it would tell you whether the answer is correct or not. And there were additional quiz booklets as well. So this is just number one. But, you know, you could go out and buy booklet number two, and it would come with a cartridge here. In fact, I believe just this entire thing, since this is branded as number one, you would get an entire new, like, carrying case for the thing, and then, you know, the booklet and the cartridge here. And then you would just take out your Quiz Whiz unit here, and then plug it into, say this is cartridge number two, you would just plug it into there, and then you would be able to, you know, answer all of the questions in booklet number two so yeah it's uh pretty cool for sure and just the way it looks is uh, is really neat to just see as well there's also a nine volt battery in here that is most certainly expired and out of date it's a radio shack alkaline battery june of 1984 i think that's the date stamp it's the only thing that looks like a date stamp on here so yeah i got a really old battery from the 1980s in here from radio shack and yeah, so I've got a new one here that we'll go ahead and hook up to this thing. I don't know if this works. I've not tested it yet, so I'm actually kind of uh, excited to see, you know, if if this works. If it does, we will certainly uh, mess around with it here a little bit. So we've got that installed. We'll go ahead and close up the battery door. And let's go ahead and uh, plug it into our cartridge here. And here we go. Moment of truth. All right, maybe it doesn't work, or maybe it just doesn't do anything until we... Oh, yep, yeah, it's working. Okay, so it just doesn't beep or anything when you turn it on. I was kind of expecting that, but let's go ahead and... Uh, so we've already installed the 9-volt battery. You got your you know instructions in here. We'll just briefly go through this. It tells you how to connect it up to the cartridge, how to operate it, and you pretty much what you do is just enter in the question number so we'll do like question number zero here this is the sample question so we'll do zero and then you don't have to like press answer or something to confirm that that's the question you want and then this is the sample question who is the first president of the usa george washington so we hit d and then answer and it blinks yes so let's try that we'll do zero and then hit b and that's wrong so yeah it still works that's pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and just flip to a random page here. Let's see. Who was Neville Chamberlain? He was the Prime Minister of England. Technically the United Kingdom, but uh, England, I guess, is... <laughs> it works in this case. So we'll enter in 734. And then the answer is going to be B. And then answer. And there you go, we got it right. But yeah, that's pretty much all one can say about Quiz Whiz. Now let's do what you guys have probably been waiting for. Seeing what's on this VHSC tape. All right, here we are at my capture station. I've got a composite cable plugged into the front of the VCR here. And we're gonna take the other end and plug it into the output on the camera here so that we can just capture directly from it to uh, my capture computer. Now, I am going to definitely be recording to the tape uh, later on in this video, but I just want to see how this direct capture uh, looks. So we'll go ahead and turn it on here. There we go. There's my ceiling and there's my light. Oh my gosh. So yeah, we are directly capturing from the VHSC camcorder. That's pretty awesome. So here's the 
uh, external monitor I've got hooked up to my main camera. So like here's, you know, my main camera over here. And uh, yeah, that way I can actually see what I'm doing on it without having to look behind me because, you know, the camera is set up behind me. And here is what I'm looking through right now. I'm not even looking through the viewfinder on the camera. This is my uh, capture setup. I've got OBS running here. But this is the computer down here. It's actually the $20 i7 machine that I did a video on back in uh, 2019, early 2019, actually. Uh, yeah, I've just repurposed it as my capture setup for now. This is the VHSC camcorder, direct output from it anyway. So let's go ahead and flick that off here. I guess let's just start by seeing what's on this VHSC tape because I'm really curious to find out. So we'll grab our adapter here. Let me just set the uh, camcorder aside. And I believe this thing needs batteries, which I do have a, uh, yeah, I've got a double A battery right here. I've not actually tested if this thing works. I sure hope it does. Battery installed. Let's take our VHSC tape and install that and close this up and it should Yep, there we go. So we flip it around to the back here, you'll see it uh, taking the tape up. So it actually, you know, can be used by the VCR, you know, so there it is. Let's go ahead and just pop this in. And we'll see what's on this. All right, so I'm going to blur that out there. But it's definitely some family footage. And it's the, the date was 1995. So yeah, this is definitely like a time capsule here. Okay, so yeah, this VHSC tape had a bunch of just family videos and stuff on it. There was a recording from October 1995, which is the one that I showed you that was blurred out. There was December 25th, Christmas Day, 1995. So they had like a video of their Christmas tree and stuff. And yeah, I just don't feel right showing that stuff on video here because this is just like somebody's, you know, private family movies and I don't want to be broadcasting them out on the internet entire internet for everybody to see. But there was some blank space on the VHSC tape and I went ahead and recorded a little clip of me just going around and, you know, taking a look at the studio. And as you're going to see, holy crap, it gives you the full VHS experience here. And uh, oh my gosh, the audio sounds like I'm in the ocean. Uh, so just be prepared for that. All right. Hello, everybody. So this is footage being recorded to the VHSC tape on the camcorder, so check this out. So, yeah, here's Eddie over here, here's the table, the new table that some of you have noticed, well I'm sure everybody's at least noticed it if you've seen my older videos, so yeah, there you go. There's the bag over there, the tripods, and yeah, we're going to see how this turns out, you know, compared to just the direct capture. Yeah, there's, this is how far this thing, so I'm, just to give you a little perspective here, I'm like way out here, like I'll zoom all the way, I'm on like the other side of the room, so, yeah, this definitely zooms in to a pretty decent amount, so there's Eddie right there, and let me go ahead and bring you like over here to the capture station, I know I'm like way zoomed in here, so here's the VCR, oh boy, and yeah, I definitely need to do a video on this capture setup because there's a lot of stuff that I want to go through here. There's our VHS C to VHS adapter or conversion technology, as the computer clan would say. And got our Model M here, our monitor, speakers. This is the 98 PC setup. Got the 98 PC and the uh, donation from Hero Rareheart right here. That's a Linux computer. Thank you very much once again. And there's a little sleeve for the cassette adapter. And yeah, that's it. That is recording to a VHSC tape. Well, yeah, there you have it, guys. That is using a VHSC camcorder in 2022. I mean, this thing is freaking cool. I really like it. It's going to be neat to make some video clips with this that I can put in like some of my future documentaries and retrospectives. That's really what I bought this for. I'm not going to be shooting like an entire video on the main channel with this unless for some reason a bunch of you want me to and you want to listen to that awful audio for 
uh, you know, 20 plus minutes, but I don't know. Maybe you guys would like to see that. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm going to do it. I'm just throwing the idea out there and maybe for the extras channel. Okay. Maybe I could do like a little clip or something that I can throw up over there. I've not done stuff in the extras channel on the extras channel in a while. Uh, so yeah, but that's pretty much going to wrap it up for today's episode of thrift store and garage sale finds. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, get subscribed, all that good stuff. And as always, I want to thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.